One antique photography here, and before I get started, I did want to apologize for not uploading last week. I wasn't really feeling well, so I decided to take a little bit of a break. But uh, yeah, I am back, and I do intend to not miss any more episodes unless something important comes up. So, uh, what we have here is, uh, well, first off, this was the first camera that I ever purchased and what got me into collecting. This is a 1934 to 1942 uh, Kodak 620 Brownie Jr. box camera. Now, uh, I paid 20 bucks for this, which is not already a lot of money. I did overpay for this, in my opinion. Oh. Forgot, I haven't opened this thing in forever. So, um, before I open it, let's just take a look around it. Um, you have two viewfinders, one for... Uh, landscape and one for portrait and you have your shutter which has two speeds or two settings just standard let me see if i can get it in light simple spring shutter and then you pull this out and it's basically a uh, bulb mode where the shutter stays open until you close it and yeah that's really it um here's the inside um nothing much well nothing really special you have the viewing window on the back and this camera is made out of aluminum i believe well it's not aluminum since it's rusting so i'd assume steel but uh yeah here's the label which is actually in really nice shape for being around 70 years old. And uh, yeah, you have your film rollers where you'd roll the film over and the uh, spools. And uh, sorry for such a quick video, I am kind of on a time crunch today, so I decided to do one of my simpler cameras. And uh, it is supposed to have a strap here, but it's gone, so. So. Yeah, sorry for such a quick episode, but um, this is even more basic than the uh, cameras that I have to show regularly. So, uh, yeah, like I said, these were made from 1934 to 1942, and a good one will usually run you about like 10 to 15 bucks. Um, I don't see any real value in these box cameras besides uh, collecting purposes, but uh, money-wise, these things are... I would just stay away from highly priced ones unless they're like special editions like the bow brownies uh the different colored ones with the cases and everything those are a like hundred dollars but uh yeah uh if you like the video be sure to like comment and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll catch you in the next one bye